Hello there, and welcome to this September 2011 edition of Media Sales Monthly. Daily deals continue to grow in popularity, and Price Grabber's local daily deals survey shows many shoppers will be checking daily deal websites when gift shopping during the 2011 holiday season. Nearly 60% of consumers surveyed said they plan to use daily deal sites for Christmas or Hanukkah, birthdays, and even anniversary gifts. These shoppers said they're looking for local deals in food and dining, shopping, entertainment and events, and travel-related deals. Price grabber analysts say the emerging popularity of the experiential gift, such as eating in a high-end restaurant, ties into the joy consumers seem to find in sharing discounts with others. Businesses should know this survey found shoppers are realistic about saving money with these deals. 37% said they don't have a specific savings requirement for buying a deal, and 41% expect to save 50% or less. Analysts say these realistic savings expectations are promising for the longevity of the industry and should drive the types of purchases shoppers will make this holiday season. Like most other sectors in the economy, casinos have been struggling since the recession started, but new information could help reps get their foot in the door to sell a new media plan. According to the American Gaming Association, about 31% of U.S. adults visited a casino last year, and a quarter gambled during their stay. The majority of these visitors ate at a full-service restaurant, and over half saw a show or a concert. New research shows the core consumer at casinos is no longer the 55-plus group. The most frequent visitors to casinos today are between the ages of 35 and 49. Industry experts say that to be successful, casinos need to find what's unique about their property and market that to consumers. Casinos should also shift some of the marketing message from the first trip to the second or third visit. Casinos shouldn't lure visitors with deep discounts, but instead focus on the guest experience and the relationship. Get more ad opportunities on your smartphone with the Media Sales mobile app. There's no magic number of times you should attempt to reach out to an unresponsive prospect. Some industry pros warn against becoming a nuisance, while others warn against letting go too soon. Writer Josian Fagan believes that while there's no formula for when to let go of a lead, there are ways to encourage a response from a prospect. Fagan suggests you vary your communications to include all of the available ways to reach someone. For example, you might make the first contact by voicemail and email, then a second attempt by email and LinkedIn. She also says last attempt emails can be lucky. Try sending a last email with a subject line including the name of your company and last call or similar language. In the email, tell the prospect this will be your last contact unless you hear from them. That just might spur action from a procrastinating prospect. Link to Fagan's post and find other sales tips at mediasalestoday.com. That's it for this edition of Media Sales Monthly. I'm Douglas Sells.